Good evening. I have noticed on some of the videos, when I watch them back, is I burp quite a lot. This is down to the food. And I do these videos after I get back from my evening meal at a local restaurant. So I apologise for that. Uh, if I do it again tonight, I apologise in advance. So today is day nine, and it's the weather was a bit weird today. It's one of those dangerous days whereby, uh, although it's not very sunny, um, if one doesn't take precautions, one can still get quite burned. And I've had this happen in the past where I've been to a beach someplace and I thought, well, it wasn't very warm and the sun was kind of peeking through the clouds and I didn't put any sun cream on. I went a fantastic colour, but I peeled like crazy afterwards. So uh, I make sure that whenever I go out in the morning now, I put lots of sun cream on. And even looking at myself tonight in the camera here, I, I seem to have gone a shade browner even today. So I look fairly healthy. Yes, so the, like I said, the sun was, it was, it was a hazy sunshine today. Uh, it was still quite warm, quite muggy in fact. Um, so I spent a few hours down at a local beach and then uh, ambled around Heronisos, which is the town in the bay. Um, looking at all the souvenir shops. One thing I have noticed about here is there are very, very few empty shops. And, and I think in a place like this, that's quite healthy. Even though I do wonder how any of them make any money because it seems like car rental shop, souvenir shop, cafe, car rental shop, souvenir shop, cafe, they seem to duplicate and that's all they sell. The silver, quite a lot of jewellery around here, silver shops especially. Um, but because of the footfall, I'm guessing they all do okay. And it, it does make me um, think about the way we shop. You know, I tend to shop online for a lot of things at home and then I go into my local towns and wonder why half the shops are shut. Simply because we as a culture have gone to online trading and the result of that is our city centres, town centres are dying. Which is very sad actually and I think maybe that's something we need to think about. They're putting people's jobs at risk, we're putting shops out of business simply because we can't be bothered to go and spend time. And the thing about this, this island, and I think it's, it's a true reflection on Greek culture probably generally, very sociable people. You know, you can go into a cafe and spend all day there and probably just buy a coffee and they're fine with that because it's an event. It's when people get together and spend time. They don't have their phones out all the time. One thing I've noticed around here, very few telephones. It's usually the younger generation. Um, but even then, I'm seeing families together talking, um, older couples together just talking, um, all nationalities, not just Brits. We, the seems to be a lot more Dutch people around today, I've noticed. So it's great. It's a cultural melee, really, and... Um, and everyone just gets on, you know. I was chatting to a couple from Birmingham tonight and, you know, we just wouldn't normally talk together, but we're on holiday together in a, in a foreign country, in an island. Um, we've got things in common, so we tend to chat. And it's great. It's a great social atmosphere. It's a social occasion coming to places like this. <coughs> Excuse me. So that is basically my observation of the day. Um, one other thing I will say, and I forgot to mention this before, is if you do come to Crete, for whatever reason, and I must say I encourage you to do so, even the small part of it I've seen is fantastic. Um, very few public toilets. Just bear that in mind. Um, cafes galore. Most of them have toilet facilities, um, but it's one of those places you feel, if you go into a restaurant or a cafe and ask, can I use the loo please? You kind of feel obliged to buy a coffee or something as well. So, um, yes, one little tip. Um, I did have my guidebook around. I was going to go through some of the items, interesting bits about, and I've forgotten to do that all this time, and I've completely forgotten where I put my book now. Um, just to say Crete is beautiful. I've got two more days left. Don't know what I'm going to do myself. 
I will go souvenir shopping at some point. Um, I might even still get to go to Heraklion. I'm not um, putting too much um, chance on that happening. But I might, you know, depends what the weather does. I think I've had a, a weather warning on my phone saying it's going to be severe thunderstorms on Friday night, but I can't really see that happening because we haven't had any clouds for the time I've been here, apart from the haziness of the sunshine. So, yes. Um, I can't think of anything else to say right now. It's just been a nice relaxing day and a um, lovely evening meal with my two of my favourite people, um, Maria. Every other woman in the island is called Maria, so that's quite confusing. And my favourite waiter called Costas, who's just such a lovely bloke. Very friendly, very attentive, genuinely nice guy. Um, and that's it really. So I shall bid you farewell and uh, sleep well and I'll see you next time.